for make sure about the uh, and without getting into the whole back and forth that happened last week. Uh, I don't know what you're, you're talking about, Matt. You're, no, nor do I. Uh, your 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 uh, your belief that the, the, there is some Russian false flag operation that's being planned has not changed, right? Since since last Thursday, uh, is that correct? That is correct. That and is correct. Do you, are you prepared today to offer any addition? What what I am prepared to do today uh, is to explain um, what I um, perhaps inartfully uh, tried to do uh, last week in explaining um, what it is we're trying to do uh, and why uh, we're not able to. Uh, provide a, a full set of information, or at least um, all of the information that, that you and your colleagues um, may ask for. Um, the Secretary spoke uh, to this briefly earlier today, but this gets to uh, our bottom line proposition. We believe that the best antidote to disinformation uh, is information. Uh, and that is why you have seen us employ uh, concerted uh, efforts across the board. We want to go the extra mile to ensure that, uh, again, to the extent possible, the American people uh, and people around the world have an understanding uh, of what we know and what undergirds our concern uh, for the threat that Moscow poses. Now, an element of that has been our declassification of information, uh, including intelligence information, uh, that is in uh, our possession. And as you heard me say last week, uh, we've done that with two overriding objectives in mind. Uh, the first, and of course our preference, is to be in a position to deter the Russians from uh, going forward. Uh, we want, by exposing this information uh, and making sure that Moscow knows what we know, uh, to have them think uh, twice or many more times uh, before uh, moving forward uh, with such a reckless action. If we're not able to do that, if we're not able to deter uh, a further invasion uh, or aggression against Ukraine, uh, we at least want to be in the position of having let the world know that despite the disinformation, despite uh, the propaganda and lies that presumably Moscow will say after the fact, uh, that the world will know what we knew all along, and that is the fact that Moscow sought to fabricate a pretext for this aggression, very similar to what they did uh, in 2014. Uh, Matt, you know uh, that in 2014, uh, the Russians uh, went into uh, Ukraine, sent their proxy forces into uh, Ukraine, claiming that Russians were under threat, uh, claiming that a three-year-old boy had been crucified, uh, claiming that uh, they had no choice uh, but to do so. Uh, again, this is why we are so concerned uh, about what we are seeing now and what we know now. Now, in, in taking this approach, uh, we recognize uh, that the information that we're able to put forward will necessarily be limited. Uh, and it will be limited for uh, a reason that you also know well. Uh, again, we even as we seek to expose Moscow's efforts, uh, we don't want to jeopardize or potentially jeopardize our ability to collect this kind of information going forward. But when we do the cost-benefit analysis uh, and we uh, consider um, if the choice is between putting forward necessarily incomplete, sometimes broad, sometimes general information in an attempt to deter aggression, or on the other hand, uh, if the choice is to keep that to ourselves uh, and potentially not play every card available to us, that's not a difficult choice. Again, we are doing this in an effort to, in the first instance, deter, if we're not able to do that, to expose uh, what Moscow has um, had in mind all along. We want to see this crisis resolved peacefully. We want to see this crisis resolved diplomatically. Uh, and we will do everything we responsibly can, we can uh, responsible in terms of tactics, but also responsible in terms of uh, our national security and our ability to continue to benefit from this information uh, going forward uh, to bring about what we hope is a diplomatic outcome. Okay, so I'm not gonna go into the 
what, like what, like we, I did last week. But the the bottom line is that no, you're not prepared to share any in, uh, any of the information that you have that would suggest that this is actually correct. Well, that, uh, is that right? Again, we we have shared significant information. No, no, and, 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 well, and 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 said I didn't want to get back into this. <laughs> Do you have anything more? That you can say to beyond, back up the claim than you did than you had to say last beyond week. beyond all. what we told you last week in no. pretty detailed terms okay. about uh, the Russian plans. We don't have anything okay. further to and, offer on that. Uh, okay, and then and then the proof. Then you're saying, hold on, say just the last one. The the, the proof that you're correct is that nothing is actually going to happen. Is that what you're saying? No, I, I that it's because not that's you not will have you could because you putting this out there will have stopped. No, I, I, I what I said is that right? our our overriding objective in the first instance is to deter Russian aggression. Uh, that is why we are doing uh, a number of things entirely only about this alleged false flag operation. That you're, talking about. you're saying that the proof that there is a false flag operation is going to come when nothing actually happens. I did not say but, that, Matt. I said well, that our overriding like objective is to deter Russian aggression against Ukraine, further Russian aggression uh, against Ukraine. I, I acknowledge I will probably never be able to, well, I will certainly never be able to give you the proof that you, I'm sure, want. Uh, but we are doing this. We are doing this, not in an effort, I'm sorry to say, uh, to satisfy you, but in an effort to <laughs> prevent and deter an invasion. It's not really uh, about satisfying me, but it, anyway, the, I, I don't want to. I don't want to take can up. Can you clarify something? I'm not sure I understand. 